The Community Center in Sturdy Valley is one of your first major goals in the game, and after completing it, it gives you access to places like the Witch's Hut, Ginger Island, and the abandoned Joja Mart if you didn't buy the Joja membership. But if you looked at the title of this video, you already know that something is going on that hinders my ability to complete the Community Center fast. But what exactly? Well... I'm not gonna tell you. It's up to you to figure out what's wrong with my game, because if not, then more bad things are gonna keep happening until my game becomes unplayable. Welcome to completing the community center, but something bad is going on. Each episode will be a half of an in-game month, and one new episode will be posted every week, giving you six days to figure out what is wrong before the next episode is posted. At the start of each episode, I will have some downside going into it, but after that downside is figured out, I will remove that said downside. But if no one figures out what the downside is, it will be carried over to the next episode, where you will still have to figure out the first downside, but there will be a second one as well to figure out. This can keep repeating infinitely, or until I complete the community center. How do you tell me what's wrong with my game, you ask? Put it in my comments, in my Discord, just don't spam, please. At me on Twitter, whatever you need to do, just make sure I see it. Also, another quick thing that I wanted to point out, all of the downsides in this are vanilla. The only modded things that I have are client side and only affect the sprites. Otherwise, enjoy the video! Hi guys. Hello. I don't really know how I want to do the intro for this, but you know. Thania, let me just make my character real quick, actually. I'm gonna start with the beach farm, actually. I know forest farm is better, but I, I just to add a bit more challenge, I'm gonna go with beach farm because I feel like it'd be nice. Also, Dudley. Dudley supremacy. All right, and we're off. Maybe. Anyway, here we are. I'll leave my bed right there, actually. So this is kind of just like a chill playthrough, you know, completing the community center, but something's wrong. Ooh. You know, you got to figure out what's going on. And I'm just going to get started by clearing out an area. And actually, I'm just going to sell my parsnips and buy potatoes because I don't feel like doing anything. Getting started, I think I'm going to try and go for wild seeds or mixed seeds. I wanted something new, you know? Everyone goes forest farm or beach farm or like the regular farm. I wanted to go beach farm because it's fresh, it's new. No one really does challenges on it. I guess that's just me, I'm weird. Man, it's so hard not to talk about like the thing that I can't do. I don't know why, it just, it just is. I think something that I'm gonna do right away is like start placing paths so I can walk faster around the farm. Also, it's almost 8. I gotta go. Also, I've been playing Pizza Tower a lot recently. It's a really fun game. I definitely recommend. Like, if you've ever played Wario Land, which I haven't before, by the way. I have not played Wario Land. But it's definitely a really fun game. If you just like platformers and also chaotic, super fast energy, high, high caliber games. Like, go, 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 you know? Ooh, I got a parsnip and a cauliflower. That worked out perfectly. Now I just need a green bean. Wait, I still have my leak. I can just uh sell my leek and buy a green bean seed that should work oh that was like perfect <laughs> leek sells for 60g and i got a bean for 60g let's go all right there's my bean now i'm just gonna clear up the farm a little bit with the little remaining energy that i have all right and now that i'm done clearing up the farm <laughs> now i'm just gonna go down and look for spring forge that i can pick up that'll be useful because i need to eat something I'm gonna be completely honest, the rest of this day was really boring, so I'm just gonna skip it. Spirits are very displeased today. I don't care. Got back from a fishing trip. Ooh, fishing, let's go. I gotta fish like all day today. I'm not gonna do much on the farm. You'll see why soon. Well, actually, you probably know why if you've done the community center. All right, that should be good enough. Time to go to the beach. Hi, shit. Ah, I bit my tongue. Hello, Willy. It's time to fish. Now, I think for the ocean fish bundle, I just need a sardine in the spring. So that should be easy enough. Or maybe it was an anchovy. I don't know for sure. You know, I'm going to look it up because I'm I'm like that. That is... It is a sardine. Okay, I'm good. Bye. Ooh, there's a bunch of crab pot stuff here. I need this. Specifically, just those two. I just need to grab those two. Oh boy, another book. Wow. That helps me a lot. Robin, you better not destroy that daffodil, otherwise I will be extremely upset with you. Also pick up the wild horseradish and give it to Linus because this is a casual playthrough and I and I like gifting to Linus because he's nice. Also, I want to unlock the wild bait later in case I need it. <laughs> you know how it goes. Maybe you don't. It's fine. I don't exactly remember what I need from up here, but the bullhead was one of them. So hey, look at that. 
I do want to catch a sunfish before it turns 7 p.m. So if I could catch a largemouth bass relatively quickly, that'd be nice. But I do want to get to at least like fishing level two before um, tomorrow because tomorrow's catfish catching time. All right, there. I got my items over there. Now I go back. I'm gonna go back and sell this stuff and like, I don't know. I guess I'll just go to bed. I didn't get fishing, but actually I did get fishing level two. How about that? Oh, that's a lot of leaks. Cause that seems pretty useful. I don't know about you. Go ahead and toss those up there and go to sleep. So it's 100% going to be raining tomorrow and I made some money. All right, and the spirits are very happy, which doesn't affect um, my actual, you know, fishing. <laughs> anyway, it's fishing time. Yay! If I catch this catfish at only fishing level 2, you have to subscribe. I caught the catfish at only fishing level 2. <laughs> that was like the easiest catfish of my life. Did you all see that? Imagine this was it right away. I don't need to imagine because it's right in front of me. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so I got the three fish that I need. Four fish, actually. And I can go ahead and sell these two. I'm going to go ahead and put these in front of the community center like I did last time. And then I'm going to sleep to tomorrow. And then I'm just going to fish in the mountain for money, which I'm just going to completely skip over because that's, that is boring as hell. It is money time tomorrow. And time lapse because I don't feel like showing a whole day's worth of fishing. In three, two, one. So... We're back. Uh, I got this fish and it's 150. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this to um, the boy shop at the place at the ocean, Willie. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and maybe hope that this is enough to buy this the pack upgrade because otherwise I'm going to be in constant pain and agony from my inventory being cluttered. You know how it goes. Dude, I'm gonna cry. If you've been watching my Twitch streams, then recently you'll know that um, I actually needed that anchor as the last thing, as the last thing in my museum. And I got it on my second, <laughs> like, stick spot on this profile. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm gonna, like, cry or something, I think. Time to go in here and buy the thing with the stuff. Let's go. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just fish in the ocean now for a bit for extra money. And I'll see you guys in a little thing over. Um, So this is the stuff that I got from my fishing session. Uh, So I ended up just like selling, as you can see by the clips beforehand, I ended up selling some of my uh stuff from this the place up there. And I went to the ocean and I got this stuff and I got a treasure chest that gave me a, two emeralds and a diamond, which is just freaking insane. Also tomorrow, Never mind. Level four fishing and 2,100G. Spirits are very happy today. And another thing, I could pick up all this stuff now that I have my backpack upgrade. And we got Dudley. Woohoo! Yeah, Dudley. Will I adopt this cat? Dudley! Let's go, Dudley. Can I get Dudley hype in the comments, please? All right, we got our parsnips now. Day five, so you all know what that means. It is a community center unlock day, which is a very very hype day because i have so much stuff to donate you have no clue go community center <laughs> look at that wow that's crazy it's almost like i knew rats problem wait no i can't donate stuff today shoot right i forgot you have to like actually do the stuff with the things and unlock it now my inventory is just full and i look like a dumbass now i can unlock it but in the meantime i'm just gonna have to like i don't know put stuff away out here again all right yeah that's it okay Time to go. It's mine's time. My goal for my first day is honestly probably just get like floor 30, maybe. Spirits are very happy today, which is really good. I didn't really think that far through. Still pretty good. So the things that I'm hoping for here are, you know, just like resources and other stuff. I keep forgetting I'm not trying to speed run the game. I'm just, you know, going through normal casual playthrough, you know. Down to floor 120, do all the stuff. I need an earth crystal actually, so that's nice. 
Ooh, Aquamarine. Anyone else remember when, um, like, collectibles from In the Mines used to be starred? That was a really long time ago, but I remember playing during that time. It was so annoying because your inventory would fill up from all the starred crystals and stuff, like all the starred quartz and other things. So annoying. And it didn't even make that much more money either. I'd also like to get a decent amount of copper for furnaces. I don't need that many furnaces for a community center run, but, you know... Yeah, floor 30 in one day is usually relatively decent. Floor 40 in one day is like when you go straight to the mines, but that's not my goal, so, you know, whatever. Dude, this, like, constant whirring sound of the fishing pole genuinely driving me insane, but I can't restart the day. Otherwise, all of the items that are on the ground will disappear. So, yeah, that's cool. Also, the, um, the little bugs, like the little insects, don't actually turn into larvae after you hurt them a bit. They actually only turn into larvae after you after they they've seen you for a bit. They only turn into larvae after you have um, hurt them for enough damage, which is usually like 75% HP. I should just gonna go ahead and toss this hardwood. I can get more later. Watch this. I'm gonna get nine hardwood from the center now that I said that. Up oh, and I found a ladder. <laughs> Bye. Yay! An actual weapon. What are your all's favorite, um, like, tracks from Stardew? Mine is definitely the one from the Skull Cavern, I'm pretty sure. I forgot the name of it. Here, wait, let me find it, actually. It's one of the mine songs. The one that just, like, changes. The Lava Dwellers. That's the one. The Lava Dwellers is, like, one of my favorite ones. One of my favorite tracks. Especially the second part, when it just, like, changes. Oh, shit, I got a yam. Damn, that's a nice RNG. I was not expecting that, but that's really good. Like, I know that doesn't matter, but still. I made it. Leave the mine. Go, 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 go. I don't think I have to. Nope. Good night. And it still takes money from you. That's dumb. That's so stupid. Whatever. Poking around. There's a lot of stuff there. Build 251G. I was on my farm. <laughs> what are you on about? Okay, I can, I can make... Uh, two furnaces. I'll go ahead and put these in my house. And I'm also going to just go ahead and sell all of this. Wait. Not all of it. Let me double check the bundles. Yeah, I need the aquamarine for the dye bundle. So I don't actually need that much. But I can sell the topaz and the amethyst because I don't need those. Yeah, no. Cool. Free money. Then I can go ahead and sell some of those. Anyway, now I need to go to the wizard so I can actually donate some of this stuff. Whoa! Rainbow shell. That's pretty lucky, I think. And I got a survival burger. Cool. Did I forget to water my crops last night? I don't think I did, right? Anyway, now it's time to do the stuff with the things. Should we get enough for the first couple bundles? No time. Pick all this stuff back up. And there we go. I think I'm gonna wait until spring year two to do the quality crops bundle because that just makes more sense check on the ocean see if it see if there's anything down there that i can donate straight nothing dude i got another anchor i'm gonna this game is cruel sometimes Ooh, red but for now i need to sell some stuff to pierre seeds for sale yeah i know that's why i'm here uh, i'm gonna sell these spring seeds and i'm gonna buy a bunch of potatoes 25 to be exact i could probably buy more actually i'm gonna buy 25 more potatoes <laughs> it's funny because my brain right now is in like half casual mode half speedrunner mode where it's just like oh you got to get everything done as quickly as possible but then it's just like oh no you're just playing on a casual playthrough where you don't have to do everything super duper quick you know you can take it slow I just like go 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 go. You know? You don't? Oh, okay, fair enough. It's farming time. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm also playing on the beach farm, so I could just check my own farm for forage. Kind of forgot that that was a thing. Let me let me go do that right now, actually, after I um Alright, so game. I'm looking for a cockle or a clam. I know you can give it to me. That's I. That's a muscle. I already have one of those. Oh, I could also probably get sprinklers and just plant all my stuff over here. But then I should have gotten the uh, the cabins. I'll just make a cabin. Hey, cockle. Okay, I don't think I have anything else on the ground that I have to worry about destroying when I reset. So I should be fine. We'll see if I'll be like, oh no, I destroyed that. I'll just go to the mines, grab uh, the 99 stone that I need for the bundle, and then I'll donate both that and the cockle and my wood funny how this just like resets the mine oh you left and rejoined all right and now the full floor is scrambled cockle stone and wood. 
Now I'm just missing the hardwood for that. I think now, honestly, I'm just gonna go to bed and then restart the day. But we did end up making 2000G. <laughs> Again, somehow. All right. All right, and it's the next day and I'm back. We go, go more. All right, so what's something I can do? Oh, I can water my crops, obviously, because my potatoes are done. I think today, since the spirits are mildly perturbed, I think instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up on the farm some. It's because I need to. And I'm also going to donate a potato. And after I clear up the farm for a little bit, I don't know what I want to do, actually. Okay, now I need to complete one of these bundles just so I can unlock the boiler room. But I don't know which bundle I should complete. I mean, obviously, like, the construction bundle is the easiest, but I need hardwood for that. So, I might go and upgrade my axe after I chop a bunch of trees. I guess I'll go fish? I don't need to fish, though. Mining is just helpful. I might just mine for a little bit with some of the potatoes. Well, I don't know, dude. Like, I need to upgrade the axe, but at the same time, do I need to? Casual playthrough, but how casual really is it? Okay, I'm just gonna go and upgrade my axe. Make sure to actually upgrade my axe instead of something else. <laughs> Gee, I need to upgrade my axe to copper. Now, I get to mine. I yearn for the mines. Oh, but first I gotta put this in the community center. Boing. Unless I get lucky with uh, mines crates, then I can just get 10 hardwood from there, but... Considering I'm not playing multiplayer and can dupe mines crates, I think I think just upgrading my axe and doing it legitimately is like the best way. Are you kidding me? I got an ancient seed. Well, I mean, I might as well. I don't think I need that, but still a nice find. So while I'm also doing this series, I'm going to be doing like a, a no caffeine for a week challenge and then if i if i do that i might just continue it because recently i've just been having caffeine like way too much like i think on average a cup of coffee every day for like three years is not good is why i'm going cold turkey at least for a little bit and then i'll like start or having coffee like once every three days or when i need it like when i absolutely need to stay up for something anyway i'm hoping i can make it to at least floor 40 here also i need to stop spending all of my money before the or strawberry time right now i'm spending way too much money of course with me not having as much caffeine that does come with headaches you know sudden caffeine withdrawals but that is a price that i'm willing to take right now i have as much copper as i probably need like i don't know if i'll need copper Copper for much honestly i know you need a lot of copper for some things but i don't know exactly what but i am um, i'm assuming i'll figure it out anyway floor 36 with a cave carrot and a survival burger i should be able to get there i threw away my sap also didn't i yeah okay can't craft torches unfortunately this isn't funny anymore just give me the ladder i hate these levels of the mines so much i have to just click randomly and hope that it's over here because i can't see sh <laughs> like what is this what? Oh, I couldn't see it. What was that? That was so dumb. I think it might have been a naturally spawning ladder also. I'm going to take a torch for the road because that was dumb. Fine, screw you. That's infuriating, but whatever, I guess. Look, makeshift glow ring. Also, um, while I'm on the topic of nothing, actually, I'm just going to place some more path just for the faster walk speed. All right. Perfect. 0.1% faster walk speed while walking on path on the farm. Let's go. Good humor. Let's go. Totally not a wasp dog is now playing Lobotomy Corporation. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm just going to go straight to the mines. Wait, no, I'm not. I don't have any food. What am I talking about? Got a seaweed. This is good food, I'm sure. So what have you all been up to, huh? Got any good games recently? I don't know why I'm talking like this is a stream. It's not. It's just me recording a thing. I miss streaming though. I need to I need to start streaming more. Fortunately, recently it's just uh, a lot of things been going on. Haven't really had time to. Plus the caffeine thing with energy doesn't really help. You do what you gotta do though. Ooh, I need that. Actually. You ain't come mine now. Alright, now. This floor. Not thank thank you. Thank you. See, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. All right, now to, now it's time to floor reset floor 10 to get slimes. Ah! I got another yam. Free food. And then I need five more green slimes, and then I can enter the adventurer's guild. I don't know if I even need to go into there. It'd be nice to have in case I do. Also, I still haven't gotten a crab from one of the crab guys yet, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, initiation completed. Nice. I can also donate my red mushroom, so that's nice. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Good evening. So you helped with our slime problem. Sticky slime. Ugh. What are you talking about sticky slime for, Lewis? That's kind of messed up. Want to talk about what's going on with Marnie? 
proper axes ready. That's nice. Hey, stupid crow. I'm just glad if you, even if you don't do anything, the crow doesn't decide to like, okay, now I'm just gonna hop over here and eat some more of your seeds. Anyway, now that all my plants are watered, I'm gonna go to the blacksmith and I'm gonna pick up my ax. Also, don't you get 100G from donating something? You get 250G. Ooh, free money. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go complete the construction bundle because that is the easiest one that I can do right now, now that I have this. Gotta go back to the farm and grab the hardwood that I need, the 10 hardwood. There's so many stumps over here. Look at this. Easiest bono completion of my life. Hi, Dudley. Is Dudley a boy or a girl, by the way? I think the name Dudley... I don't know. How about you guys decide? Dudley a boy cat or a girl cat? Leave your vote in the comments below. Hashtag Dudley boy or hashtag Dudley girl. Boost the algorithm. <laughs> Let's go. Got the boiler room. Put one of my copper bars in there. I also put this and this in there. Now I just need the frozen tier, fire quartz, and probably the bat wings and one of the essences should be the easiest. Getting that repaired as soon as possible will be really nice because then I'll get the mine carts and those are really nice. So yeah, I know bat wings are used slime also but i can't really do anything with them so in the meantime i'll just plant that there and i'll go ahead and sell my quartz because it is useless i think i think honestly i might just sleep because i don't think there's anything i can do today yeah the spirits are somewhat annoyed i guess i'll check um in cinder sap if there's any spring onions uh editor trian cut to me having a black screen and just saying there were no spring onions there's one well, now i have to put it in Dang it, I gotta eat it anyway to pick up a better forage. I'm gonna be completely honest, some of these episodes might just be like really short. Cause I may just like sleep through an entire half of the of a season. It might just be what works out. You know, like the first half of the season is always usually super busy, but then the second half, you know, it slows down a little bit. Of course, during like fall or winter time, that's not gonna be the case, but during spring and summer, that might be. Anyway, it's growing time. All right, so the spirits are in good humor, but I don't know if I'll have enough room to even like do stuff in the mines. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot I'm in floor 40 now. Oh, the dust sprites. Okay, if I could get a better weapon like immediately, that'd be great because this is painful right now. I'll oh shoot, I also need iron. Hoping and praying for some free ladders here. Otherwise, that's just gonna be pain. Ooh, a frozen geode, I need that as well. Like, look how long it takes to kill a single, ugh. <laughs> Ick. I have no room and I can't eat the winter root either. Oh, right. That's why I need iron. It's for sprinklers, for basic sprinklers. Duh. I should also maybe go to Robin's and like make a cabin just so I have a cabin over there for fast travel. That might be helpful. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. My bad, I guess. I think I interrupted something. Ooh, a crystal fruit. Yes. Nice. Well, that's nice. I'm, I'm leaving now. Oh, got three of the items that I need. What? What? I ate the bug steak and it gave me nothing. Huh? I've never seen that before. It gave me no energy. Why did it give me no energy? Hello? Someone explain that to me. Why the item that I ate that was supposed to give me energy did not give me anything at all. And now I can't get to floor 50 because of that. That is so stupid. What was that? Still, what was that? My bug steak just got like gone. Like just, I couldn't do anything there. Whatever, I'm just gonna put the frozen tier into here and then I'm gonna put the other stuff into the winter forage. Why are giving your cows fish? How would giving your cows a fish increase their milk production? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Spirits feel neutral today. Not terrible. Not the best either. I got a water Dudley, actually. There you go. Lost my favorite axe. No, I could probably go and do that, actually, for a free 250G. Then I can construct the cabin down there. The muffin. <laughs> Come on, it's muffin time. Free money. Woo. I should honestly be able to afford a lot of strawberries, actually, now that I think about it. Like 50? I think 50 strawberries should be good enough. You found the lost axe. Imagine there was like a lost axe percent. That'd be so dumb. It would just depend on your load times. Anyway, here you go, Robin. Here's your axe back. Construct farm buildings. Wait, is there even room over there or do I have to clear that out? That's good enough. 
Actually, that's kind of a bad spot because you can't come from the you can't come from the right side. You know, you make do with what you got. What I've got is something wrong with me, but I don't know what. You guys will have to figure it out. Well, technically, I do know what, but can't say it. <laughs> Otherwise, that would ruin the whole point of the series. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and clear up some of that area down there, and I'm also gonna make some path. Dem it off up here. Oh, shoot. There's big logs here. Of course there are. I mean, I can still use it with sprinklers. It's just going to be more annoying. I need to upgrade my, my axe to steel then anyway, so it's easier to, you know, play the video game. All right, I'm going to actually just cut down a maple tree and hope I get a maple seed so I can get a field snack so I can chop more trees down. It's a vicious cycle, I know. Eat the field snack and go and chop more trees. Like, I can still place some sprinklers here and there. I can't craft basic sprinklers right now. <laughs> I'm so poor, man. I think I'm just gonna sleep because there's nothing that I need to do right now, honestly. I get level 3 foraging so I can get the tapper. Pog. Hey, it's raining. Let's go. Except it doesn't matter because my potatoes are ready. Hey, so is my bean. All right, I need more room <laughs> in my inventory. I'm just gonna throw some of this stuff out for now, I guess. I'm just gonna keep these five for food because I need to. Let me go and donate this green bean. So I'm actually just gonna go do that because I only need 50 strawberry seeds. I'm sure 56 potatoes will get me 5,000 G. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna just upgrade that and then, oh, I should have donated my bat wing, so well. I still got time. This ain't a speed run. Tools, copper pickaxe. Thank you, Clint. Oh, I'll go ahead and check the uh, I'll check the beach today in case there's crab pot stuff. Because the only thing from the bundle that I'm missing that's on the beach is slam. And then I'm fine. Hey, there's my clam. Also, honestly, I might just clay farm for a little bit because I need clay for stuff. Except I don't have anything to clay farm with because I don't have a seed. Crap. And then while I'm at the community center, I'll go ahead and donate the bat wings as well. Clam. Bat I could just throw these bat wings away now. I don't need them. I guess I could have sold them, but you know, whatever. And I'm also going to chop trees for wood the rest of my energy instead of going to the mines because I don't have a pickaxe <laughs> and chop trees. That's insane. That's a bug. That's a bug. That is a bug. Ah, oh, yes. One, one little sap icon means 48 sap. I also need room in my inventory, out of which I have none. Oh, yeah. I got my mayonnaise machine recipe. I guess I could make that. Anyway, it's festival time, so you know what that means. It's also cauliflower time because, yeah, screw it, I guess. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna water all of this. I think this is 50, right guys? To make some basic sprinklers. All right, so where's the best spot for these? So right here is okay. Just getting cut off once. Right here is also okay. Right there is good. That means right here is also fine. And right there. I don't know. I'm just placing it in spots where it's just like makes sense, but also like, you know, not too stupid. Anyway, egg festival time. So that is six times four, which is 24. That's 24 extra strawberries that can be placed and not have anything done with. So then I think I'm honestly just, yeah, 24. I should be fine to just buy all strawberry seeds then. Yeah. Anyway, line, uh, Lewis, it's time. We go, we ball. I'm gonna egg, I'm gonna egg them all. Egg, 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 egg. Bro tripped on a rock. I feel like that happens every single time without fail. Egg, egg, can I get the last egg up here? No! Oh! I almost got 13. Wow, look at all these eggs. Straw hat, tree and thonia, me. All right, I'm gonna go plant the strawberries over here. All right. Now it's time to water them all. All right, so the copper pickaxe is ready. That's nice. Go ahead and go grab that. And I also got to water all of my stuff. How did I miss that? What? You know, whatever. Not that upset. All right, well, if the spirits are mildly perturbed and I have my copper pickaxe ready anyway, I think I'm just going to mine anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can do this. And I can go eat the commute, the bundle. Boom, boom spring crop bundle i also get the bulletin board so i need to put in aquamarine oh i do need a sea urchin and another i need another red mushroom okay and i also need to put in my frozen geo i can go ahead and just get rid of that now and i'm gonna go to the place with the stuff clint keep saying place with the stuff even though it's just blacksmith open up open up open up open up open up pick 
So my next major goal, I think, is probably to get to the bottom of the mine. Not necessarily the bottom, but at least floor 80. I don't think you need to get to the bottom to complete the community center, because I think that's what they do in speedruns. You just get to floor 80 and then reset to get the fire quartz. Oh, and also, quick thing to mention, this is the last day in this episode. How sad. No, it's not really how sad. It's more like, yay. Now I can start editing this. Woohoo! First, I need to, you know, do the script for the intro. Because I haven't done that yet. And I also might want to redo it. Come on, I need more iron game. Oh, I could just two shot iron now. Nice. It's really good. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll be able to get to floor 55, but I'm not going to get my hopes up, considering with how abysmal my luck has been in this, like, playthrough in general. Dundra boots. I think I might honestly go down to floor 100 in the mines just for the star drop, just because it's nice to have. Also, it's 3.30. I can definitely make it to floor 55. I got three field snacks, one silver potato, and a dream. Oh, no. Give me the ladder. Yay! Actually, I'll just use the rest of my energy for iron mining. Oh, uh, you all won't be ready for next next week's thing. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, you'll notice it when someone says something about it. But at first, you're gonna be like, wait, what? Come on, give me a weapon. Damn it. All right, and now I think I just need to go back home and I should be fine. I'll just go ahead and smelt some of this iron. And yeah. That'll be it for this episode. Pretty good episode. We got a lot of stuff done. We got our strawberries. We got free 500G, which is cool. <laughs> and I, I guess that's probably just going to be it for this episode. So that's going to be it for this video. And not not the start of summer. It's not, it's the, 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 the. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good one. And I will see you all later. Peace. Thank you.